Welcome to Enjoy Fort Wayne. This episode is brought to you by the Wild and I Farmers Market and highlights the 350 vendors that make up the number one market in the state of Indiana. Today I'm talking to Jonathan Kaufman of Jonathan Kaufman Photography. He'll tell us how he got started in photography and why he's at the Wild and I Farmers Market. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and be sure to hit the notification bell on YouTube so you know when we drop new videos. So today, Jonathan Kaufman will help us enjoy Fort Wayne. Jonathan Kaufman with Jonathan Kaufman Photography. Awesome. And I've seen a lot of your of your work. I really enjoy it. So tell me how long you've been doing that. Well, I've been taking pictures all my life. I just always loved to take pictures. Um, but I um, didn't really get into uh, professional p- photography. In some ways, I still don't even think of myself as a professional because I'm not that technical on the technical side of photography. But... Um, uh, a few years ago, um, I, well, I've always, when cell phones came out, I pretty much, you know, I, I just started taking more pictures. I love uh, to get outdoors. Um, I'm an out, I just love being outdoors. I, I bicycle a lot on the Greenway. I kayak a lot, um, things like that. And so I would just take pictures as I was out doing stuff just for myself. And then when social media came a, a, along, I started posting those pictures. And I started getting response. People liked them and people people started saying comments like, oh, you should, you, these are good, you should make a calendar, or you should uh, make a book and sell these, or you, you know, just encourage me like that. And I was like, no, you know, I mean, anybody can take pictures. I'm just, yeah, like, I, didn't uh, th- I didn't think I was anything that special. What's you know? so great about them? Right, yeah. <laughs> but my wife, you know, and other people reminded me, you know, it's, um, you really do have an eye for it. You don't, you see things in a way that other people don't see them, maybe, is what people notice. So you thought in these pictures that everyone else had the same eye as you yeah. it's not that big a deal yeah but you started to see oh maybe i have a right gift right for and then i would see sometimes i'd look at other people's pictures and be like oh you know if they would have did this they could, it would have been a better <laughs> picture so i started to see that it, I, i've been told that that i have the eye i i really i'm not that big on the technical but i i really have the the eye for the for, you know for the what's in the shot so 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 you've been doing it pretty much always do you remember what's your memory of the first pic- picture you took well i don't know probably i don't know if i remember the first one but some of the first ones that i would post were just uh, pictures like especially i like to kayak and so i maybe have a good picture of you know a bridge on the river with a reflection mm-hmm. or whatever and people would just say oh, that's a really good picture and that at that that was at the time when the riverfront was under development and they actually they had like a, a kind of a contest to have people, you know, post pictures of, of the riverfront and you could tag them, you know. So I entered uh, like 10 pictures and like three of my pictures made like the top 10, you know. Wow. And then, you know, and so I, then I started to realize, okay, yeah. I, There's know, something to this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Now, what did you do before you kind of did this you're you're retired i know well i'm retired now but i was i worked in property management for years and and i just retired from property management about two years ago so i did this this photography is it's still just a part-time thing it's not a thing that i do full-time it doesn't sure pay enough bills for you know but but it's uh it's growing and you know it's it's really it, it's just blossomed in the past few years where it's you know i'm selling quite a bit and a lot of local businesses. Not only do I sell at the farmers markets and at local arts fest, but there's been several businesses that have bought my photography in restaurants, um, banks. You know, lot, uh, Three Rivers Re- Credit Union. They're really great with local art, so they've bought a lot of my photography that's in their branches. And just last year, they bought a, a lot of it for their uh, call-in center, where it's just their employees. You know, have nice art to look at on the walls. You know, so wow. my, my photography is part of that. So very cool. Yeah, Henry's downtown has has their their stuff on my walls um a lot of airbnbs you know like to buy my photography because they have a house and it features local fort wayne art of course yeah. you know so um, oh very cool yeah. that's always exciting that yeah. when you can see that i'll have to go to henry's and, and check that out I like yeah. going there yeah so uh, are you from fort wayne originally then i was i was born in western indiana but i my family moved here when i was three years old and then i grew up out in the country came to college in town, went to Fort Wayne Bible College, um, 
eventually met my wife and I've always thought I would move back into the country but never did um, I just love I love the outdoors so that's what I really love I, right now my wife and I we moved to West Central about 12 years ago and I'm right next to the river so I get out and walk along the Greenway or run or bicycle um, and then I kayak a lot on the river so that gets me outdoors it makes me feel sometimes near the park you feel like you're kind of out in the country even though you're in the city yeah. but the other side of that is I really am falling in love with just the urban feel of the city too and I'm really excited about what's happening in downtown Fort Wayne West Central is great now in in 2023 with some of the changes and I wanted to ask you about that what what are some of the things you've been around for a while I've been in Fort Wayne since the late 80s, and so we definitely both remember when Fort Wayne, as far as like downtown, it was kind of, Indiana is joked a little bit as it's a flyover state. Well, yeah. downtown was like the flyover zone. <laughs> yeah. You didn't drive into right. it. You just maybe had to drive through it to get where you were going. Yeah. But you didn't, it wasn't your destination. Or maybe you worked downtown, but you wouldn't come downtown to do anything social or anything. Right. They, like they rolled up the sidewalks at 530 or whatever. You know? Yeah. Was, yeah. And now, so, yeah. What, what do you, what's your take on what well, it's, it's like Well, it's just, now? it's been amazing because um, before we moved to West Central, we lived in uh, Williams Woodland, which is another historical neighborhood on the south side of town. But I used to bike around downtown a lot. I just love getting out on my bike and I would bike downtown too. And you wouldn't see that much happening. And I remember one time I biked, uh, I think I even biked to work and then I biked home from work and kind of tool around downtown a bit. And there was like three outdoor concerts, you know, that I went by in one Friday night. You know, mm -hmm. it's just people out outdoors singing at a restaurant or whatever. It's just, you know, there's just so much happening. That was even, but you know, that was right when maybe Parkview Field was first. Of course, Parkview was a big thing, and so I, sure. I used, to, I probably went to, you know, ha maybe just two or three games when they were out at the Memorial Stadium. Right. Once, once they moved downtown, totally different. The second year, I bought partial season tickets. <laughs> I'm there at Parkview Field. You know. Oh man. Um. You know. It's you know. I love the like the quarter season package. It's like three games, three or four games a month. It's just perfect. You know. Yeah. At the end of the year, you're never like, oh, I wish I would have went to more baseball games. It right. Forces you to schedule and 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 their their package is great because even if you, you buy that package, but if if you got a game and you have something on on a scheduled game, you can just they let you trade that ticket. For another time oh okay oh and it's you know just real easy to do that and you can combine them or whatever so um yeah i'm a big fan of parkview field i i've taken you know, a lot of pictures of parkview field at sunset and when i'm there at a game if it looks like a good sunset i go to a good spot where oh, i can get yeah. a good picture and yeah that stadium you know is so not a single a ball club oh, type of it's, stadium yeah that it's won it's awards just, you know yeah, for, yeah it's so immaculate yeah, that yeah. how can you not yeah a nice summer's day the the background with the buildings yeah. and i'm not even that stuff. big of a baseball fan but i'm a big fan of uh, <laughs> having a beer with a friend in the ballpark you yeah know? <laughs> exactly yeah. even if you're not paying attention yeah. necessarily exactly. to the game just yep. hanging out you how many people could do you have a possibility of running into too like oh, oh yeah there's john yeah. and yeah. there's you know yeah. jane and oh so, sure it's you great. run into yeah. people and you know it's just a good time that's uh it's become a staple yeah in fort yeah. wayne the summer no, is oh yeah. you going to the game later yeah it, was, yeah it was really a bummer during covid when it wasn't you know limited schedule and everything but good yeah. to be back in full force there. full force for sure so we talked about some of the exciting things in fort wayne some of the things you enjoy i wanted to ask you as well as a citizen in in our good city what is something that you are maybe on the lookout for or something that you think we need to improve on or, hey, guys, if we're not too careful, we could get, you know, what is something that, that strikes you as need for improvement? Hmm. Yeah, um, there is a lot to love in our city, but um, riding around on the Greenway, I, I run into a lot of homeless people still. You know, you mm. see a lot of homeless people. And um, and I know there's a lot of good effort to do, uh, you know, to meet the homeless need, you know, um, you know rescue mission and sure. a lot of other organizations like that. But we can always do a better job, I think, of of meeting the needs of the homeless and and uh, yeah. So that's that's one thing. Yeah, for sure. And every city has its issues. Every you know, we're not the only city that would say that. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, you right. Go, right. We're in a three-hour radius of Detroit, Chicago, Cincinnati, Cleveland, 
Indianapolis, they all have those problems as well. Right. So it's not to say like we're the only one, but sure. it is visible and you do see it. And yeah. Your heart goes out to people that need help. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, let me ask you about entrepreneurship and, and what you're doing in retirement. I think a lot of people, what I like is that you could have retired and just stayed more at home and kind of tended to your garden or Mm -hmm. picked up a hobby where you're more kind of at home. But this really gets you more active and and doing things and doing something that you enjoy. What would you advise people who are looking to get into photography a little bit more than just a hobby and they're looking to maybe sell their piece to Mm -hmm. Henry's or you mentioned some of these some of these yeah. places how did you go about doing that and what would you advise people who would look up to you in that yeah well the first place I sold was at the West Central Arts Fest and there's a lot there's several arts fest around town that you know that that offer different artists to come in and sell for the day you rent a booth for you know 40 50 bucks for the day or whatever sure. and, then, and display your stuff so okay I mean, I've talked to some other photographers who are right on that edge and I'm, I've encouraged them yeah do it so uh, first of all, take pictures. You know, I mean, that's what is beautiful about the digital age. You can just take hundreds. I, that's my problem is I have too many too pictures. Too many, because then oh, you got to edit. Too, oh, or you, well, you and you just too many to look through. I mean, sometimes <laughs> I take pictures and forget to go back and look at them until later. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Wow, I have that picture. You know, so it's it's a problem. And, you know, trying to keep up with that, that's, that's an issue. But. You ever have multiple pictures of basically kind of the same thing? You just, oh. And you're like, Honey, I don't know which one. Which one? Uh, out of these three, even yeah. it's hard to choose. Right. It's hard. Well, it, I'm getting better at it. You know, just you kind of just start learn to go with your gut and what you feel. But yeah, I, I mean that's the thing too. I and you and you want to do that. You want to take a lot of pictures. Sure. Um. And um. Another thing that I that I did was I've never had any real formal training with photography except I did at the the. Uh, the community center downtown used to do photography classes, and I hope they can start them again because I took a class down there on photography that was really helpful just getting the basics and learning some you know basic things. And then they also did one on photo editing, which was really helpful for me to learn how to, to – I mean, I had knew some about editing. And you can do sure. so much editing now even on your phone, you know. Yeah. So it's it's great. But, but so, yeah, t- you know, take pictures, um, you know, get some formal training if you can. You know, take a class like that. But you can read, too, and you can do YouTube, and you can learn a lot just from from doing that kind of thing you know so just just educating yourself and one of the books that i read on on com, uh, composition once said you know when you take a picture sometimes you just want to take a picture and sometimes what you want to do is just step back two or three feet and take take the shot again just get a different perspective sometimes that just opens it up you, hmm. you start to learn you know different uh approaches to taking pictures and once you start doing something it kind of grows and builds on itself the other thing is i used to run into a lot of you know other photographers and like i said they were really professionals knew how to handle their equipment i'm still just learning like on my nikon it still takes me a while just to you know learn stuff but (laughs) but um you know they were really professionals but and i used to be almost intimidated by like whoa i don't even know if i want to hang with them or friend them on Facebook because their pictures are so, you know, they're, they're, they're professional. <laughs> but I, I kind of just learned to get over that and, re, and, and just kind of started following other people. And that really helps to broaden your horizons. You just see it, how another person approaches something or looks at something and it kind of adds to, you know, learning how, you, how you can do it. And so I, I really encourage, you know, don't, don't worry about being, you know, competitive with other people, just do your own thing, but learn from other people too. So that that's an important thing to do. Yeah, that's awesome. I think sometimes people just need to actually do. Yes. And not just worry do about it. well. Somebody how, said that. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a pretty famous pretty famous saying. Yeah. Uh they're worried about but I there's so many things that I don't know yet. And it's yeah. like you pick it up as you go, I that's, suppose, yeah, right? You do. It's almost like you're driving a car, you can't steer it until you start moving it. You know, you ha- you have to get going. That's good. I like that. I've never heard that one. That's good. <laughs> That's yeah. what I look for, these yeah. little nuggets, right? <laughs> right? That's good. Brewhound Bus is your chance to visit all the scenes you want to check out, from breweries to wineries and nightlife. Book your tour with Brewhound Bus. Go to brewhoundbus.com, let us pick you up from your house, and drop you off home safely. Grab 12 of your friends and bring your own cooler on board. Book your next bachelor or bachelorette party, birthday, or friends night out with Brewhound Bus. Check out the weekday specials as well, only at brewhoundbus.com. 
All right. So last question that I always ask on this show is it's kind of fun and it may, it really makes you think. And so if we were to rent out a billboard that was across the sky for all of Fort Wayne to see in the surrounding area, money was no object. We said, Jonathan, it's all yours. It can say anything you want. What would you want it to say? Ooh, wow. That's really an interesting question. That's what everyone says at yes. first. <laughs> well, you, know, you have to give that some real good thought. Are you I mean, sure? Yeah, but kind of off the top of my head, I think what I've really tried to focus on my life, and especially in the last few years, is um, loving God and loving people. And so I think I would put maybe something like that up there, love God and and love people. I mean, it's I, I'm a follower of Jesus, and I, you know that's something that he said, and I think that could be you know I think life could be summed up in that that's I think that's our purpose and um, it's important to love God and to recognize his creation and respect it you know there's a lot of reasons to love God but then obviously loving people is really important too you know that's we're here for each other not not to live our self life but to devote our lives to other people so I think I've something like that to say yeah love it love that thanks for uh, thanks for being here and um what I'll do is I'm going to edit this part where give the give your um like your Facebook and and all that where like yeah where if someone wants to um can like can someone book you for an event I, well or, I I don't I don't do particularly do people so much well events I could yeah um so I've done um. You know, like I'm a member of the Fort Wayne Artists Guild, and they okay. have a Kikiangi event, and they had me do the photography for that event. And I've also done um, some senior pictures. Um, I don't do weddings. That's just a little too much for me with the technical side of it and everything. Sure. Um, and I've done fam- a, those are long days. family pictures, too. too. But most of my photography is, is landscape. If you notice, you know, on my Facebook page, for it's sure. landscape photography. Absolutely. Um, so that's, you know... Um, the other thing that I, since I retired, um, the thing that I did, I, I, I owned some rental properties, and so I actually took two rooms of one of my rental properties and created a studio, and it's not even on my, um, you know, um, like on my Facebook or anything yet, but, okay. um, or I don't, and I, actually, I don't even have a, my website going yet. I hope to do that soon, but um, I tell people at the market all the time, if you want more time to look at stuff or we want to talk about something specific... I can meet you by appointment at my studio. It's on South Harrison at 2228 South Harrison. And it's since I retired, that's where I go and hang out. I, that way I'm, you know, yeah, you know, away from home. It gets me out of the house still, but I can, you know, I can focus on, on just doing what I do. And so I, I do my other business there too, but it's also, it's got all my artwork all over the walls, you know, so people can come there and see what it looks like when it's actually hung up and oh, stuff on wow. the walls. Yeah, no, that's yeah. perfect. Okay, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. So... Then what's the best way for someone to see your work, your Facebook page, or what's probably to follow me on Instagram or you know and and Facebook, um, and they can yeah to look at my Facebook page and um, and then if they want to you know call me or you know they can they can text me and or and by appointment and we can you know meet up at the studio and, and see show them stuff. stuff. So yeah, people come there and they they can take you know I take a couple hours and just look through stuff and just fully decide what they want because I have a lot of different things you know different sizes but you know some things can be blown up to a certain size and some things you know it it has to the proportions have to be the same you know so not everything translates into you know everything else but but yeah it's you know so we can work through those kind of issues so you know a lot of my stuff can just be made bigger and I do a lot of um, I mean, to sell eight by tens, you know, in sleeves, but I uh, also do a lot. Canvas prints are my biggest thing. I sell these canvas prints that are, you know, uh, they're already just ready to hang on the wall, you know. Sure. Or you can, you know, get something, get it framed. Right? And I sell some framed prints too. So, okay, great, yeah. awesome. This podcast is brought to you by Caraggio Media. The show was edited by me and sponsored by the Wild and I Farmers Market. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram for all the latest updates. We will see you next week where we will be sure to show you how you can enjoy Fort Wayne.